Hey everyone, welcome back to CSIGO. This is part 4 of our SAP Fiori tutorial series. In the previous videos, we built a basic app, added a login page and now we are going to take it a step further by creating a new view page and enabling navigation between views. By the end of this video, you will know how to add a navigation functionality to your UI5 application, allowing users to switch between different pages. Now let's get started. Create a new XML view file called dashboard.view.xml inside the view folder. This will represent the page that we will navigate to. In this new view page we need to add a MVC view part and page tag. For that I will go to the old view and copy paste content from there. Here we will copy from page and paste it here and close these tags inside the page tag we will simply add a text tag and add a text here like this is your second page so that we can identify the second page while navigating Also generate a ID for this text tag. Change the page ID to some other ID. I will change it to page 2 since we have already have a page ID. Here we are going to use the same button which we have created on the part 3 video. At that time we named the function as alert button and if you go to controller you can see the function here which we have created on the part 3 video but here we will change the function name to login button instead of alert button then go to the controller and change the function name here also here instead of alert button we will change it to login button Now save. We don't need the alert now, so we will come in this this part. Next, we need to implement the navigation logic, which will use the UI component router to navigate to our new view page. Here we are going to use the SAP dot UI dot core dot UI component dot get router for this to get the router instance and then call now to to navigate to the root defined for the new view this handles the page transition when the button is pressed here inside this write whatever the content you want uh, this will be used on the manifest.json here i am going to write it as root dashboard and the same name will be used to on the manifest.json so the controller part is done now we will go to the manifest.json to continue this to enable navigation we also need to update the manifest.json file we will add a new root and target for our dashboard page here we need to add a new root called root dashboard Uh, this is the part where we need to add one more root. For that we will copy the existing root and paste the content. So let's copy this. From here to here. Let's add a comma. Then from here to here. Copy and go down. Paste it here. And the name should be the new name which we given on the controller. Let's see the name which we had given on the controller. Where is the controller? Yes, this name. The name should be this. And copy this name and paste this name over here. We also need to create a new target called 
target dashboard that maps to our dashboard view. This setup allows us to navigate between the views using the router. For that copy the content of the existing target and paste it over here. Now we need to change the old view name to the new view name that is we have created dashboard view. So we will change the home underscore view here to dashboard view. We'll check the output now. Oops, there is some issue. Let's go and check the code one more time. First scroll up and check the root. Here instead of query, let's type list which is nothing but the pattern which is telling the manifest.json root that there is no parameter coming from the controller side. Then scroll down and check the target. Okay, this is the issue. Here we pasted the contents outside the bracket. Actually, these braces are not required and we should copy this one and put it over top here we need to paste the new target and save let's reload this website now i think it's working successfully now let's type something and click on login and that's it. You have successfully added navigation to your SAP Fury app. Now users can switch between different pages in your application. In the next video, we will explore more advanced features. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on future tutorials. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the part 5.